Does the church always report allegations of child abuse to police? No. The way that we're taught is that there's a two witness rule with any wrongdoing. And that if you've got wrongdoing, someone's done something to you, go to the elders with two witnesses before they'll believe you or take action. What is this two witness rule? I mean, how many crimes are committed in front of a witness? Why do you, you know? Well, it's something that they have taken from the Bible. I believe it's in Deuteronomy that says there need to be two witnesses for a crime. According to Job's Witnesses translation, there is a scripture in Leviticus that tells us that we should go to the elders. And what it does is it forces Jehovah's Witnesses to go to the elders and avoid going to the authorities. So here, Jehovah's Witnesses are bypassing the authorities and they're going to their religious leaders to accuse someone else of a wrongdoing. The scriptures are very clear. Before a judicial committee can be convened, there has to be a confession or two witnesses. So we will never change our scriptural position on that subject. But what is missing here is the original scripture is a call to testify to the authorities. Unfortunately, it's a misuse and abuse of that statement in the Bible because they're not talking in the Bible about child abuse. What is it about that group that fosters an environment where this is happening? Well, I think because of the cover-ups, um, and the cover-ups have, have been so consistent over the decades, uh, and it's been kept hushed so that people don't know who the perpetrators are. Mm. They don't know if, you know, one of the elders in their community is someone who at one point has been charged. They never release the names. But why? Like so many organizations, they don't want to bring reproach upon their organization. This is all predicated, I assume, on the idea that protecting the organization is paramount to yes. everything. But also, but and like Scientologists, they believe that it'll get fixed. Internally. Internally. Or if it needs to be exposed, eventually Jehovah will do it. But you don't go run ahead of Jehovah's Spirit or Jehovah's organization and make a fuss. Jehovah will see to it that it's taken care of in due time. But if you're a child and you're growing up in, in Jehovah's Witnesses and you go to your mother or your father and say, I've been molested, what is the process? Are you allowed to go to the police? Are you allowed to report this crime? The witness culture is built up on this assumption that there needs to be forgiveness. Um, there's this thing where you're not allowed to take another brother to court. And all of these factors, together with confidentiality, we need to keep things secret. We can't bring Jehovah's name into reproach. All of these factors conspire to bring parents to the point, and I've interviewed parents who've done this, where they just don't feel they can go to the authorities because of how they've been trained in the witness culture. We've seen cases where it did get to the court system. Uh, someone was molested. Years later, they end up in a courtroom the victim is by herself, and on the other side of the courtroom is the molester surrounded by the congregation. The molester actually has the support of the congregation while the victim is in defiance of God's law, and truly that word reproach is brought up again and again. You don't want to bring reproach upon God's kingdom. Jehovah's Witnesses elders are taught that when a molester claims repentance and puts forth so-called godly works, he can then be viewed as a former molester.
Jehovah's Witnesses have a prison ministry. They go and recruit inmates. And they recruit inmates, and they study with inmates, and too many of those inmates that became witnesses were molesters in the Jehovah's Witnesses prison ministry. In one particular prison, the only people who studied with Jehovah's Witnesses were molesters. They were the only ones that were studying. And when they came out of uh, prison, they would go to the congregation, they would be baptized, and they were free from sin. So that exposed more children to child abuse. And so this has to stop. The Washer has to stop using a 3,000-year-old text to make people bypass the authorities. It would put a stop to the horror.